Act 1, PPL versus Paul. Let's go. My team, I am leading with a focused sash, Marowak. I really want to get my racks up because of the Thunderous. I want to get Ice Shard off on it, be able to kill it with Dazzling Gleam or HP Ice after it switches in twice. So, I felt the focus sash was important. He leads with his me and Chow. Me and Chow scary. Uh, Jordan beat my ass with it a couple of seasons ago, so I've never liked me and Chow. He U-turns. Kind of leaves me to think it's probably Scarf because I don't see a Life Orb. Uh, Should have gone for Will-O-Wisp. Really had no reason to not go for Will-O-Wisp. What was it going to do? Going to Toxapex? Uh, Will-O-Wisp was my best play right there. If I had it back, I would have gone for Will-O-Wisp. But he brings the guard chop. I did not want him to go for a substitute, so I went for a Shadow Bone as he makes the easy play and kills me with an Earthquake. Now, I wasn't sure, is this thing Choice Scarfed? Is this thing Yachi Berry? Probably one of those two. I bring in my Mammoth Swine because if he's Choice Scarfed, he'll probably switch out. If he's Yachi Berry, he'll probably switch out, but I could hit him with it and break his Yachi. But he switches in his Scizor as I predict that because it is his only switch in. If Scizor goes down, Mammoth Swine can kill all the rest of his team. If Toxbrex goes down, Kingdra can sweep his team. If Scizor goes down, Scolipede can sweep his team. So those were my game plan. That was my game plan. Kill Scizor, kill Scolipede, sweep his team. So I make a nice, easy play after getting big damage on the Scizor and go into my Pelipper. What is he gonna do? Bullet punch me, U-turn, knock off, probably his attack moves, probably has Roost. Um, this is his only hazard remover, so he maybe defog. As soon as I find out his set, he's bulky, so he probably isn't the setup variant. He goes for a safe bullet punch, trying to get damage on that Mammoth Swine, and Pelipper eats that like a champ. Now, I'm not expecting him to stay in because Scald Burn. I could Scald and burn him, and he dies. Um, but he goes for the Roost, and I'm like, well, that's peculiar. I wish I went for Scald, but instead I went for the U turn. Not the biggest of deals because this gives me a free switch in to my Kingdra. Now, like I said, the only switch in he really has to this thing is his Toxpex. But if Toxpex can take uh, Hydro Pump plus Draco Meter, that's why I also wanted to get my racks up because just to chip away at him, maybe get a crit with my Hydro Pump. And like I perfectly expected, here comes a Spadef Toxpex. Hits the rocks, here comes my Hydro Pump. And looking at this damage, big damage, oh, it's a crit, big crit, but it's not a crit because it's not specially defensive tax effects. This was really strange to me because I thought, well, what was your plan for Kingdra? I got a nice high roll there. I'm going for another high roll. High roll was 70. I got a 69. He lives on one HP. And unfortunately, I can't sweep right there. I think had I killed the tax effects there, it was possibly game over. I think I could have swept with Kingdra then and there. Um, but I'm going to go for the safe Draco meter and take out the Toxapex. This Toxapex was indeed a uh, sugar berry. It had sugar berry and it had haze for the Skullipede. So that was cool prep on him, but he went physical instead of special. So Kingdra, Kingdra's looking awesome right now. Kingdra, just reset up the rain, come back in when I don't have my minus two, and sweep with Hydro Pump. So he brings in his Scizor, probably expecting to take a Hydro Pump. So I switch out and I go into my Pelipper again. I still have a couple turns of rain left, so that's cool. He goes for the Roost. So he's back at full. And right now I'm thinking, it's probably going to U-turn. I'm just going to go for Scald. Really a no catchback play, but he goes for the Defog. And I'm like, hey, you know you've stayed in twice now against my Pelipper. This time I'm not messing around. I'm going to go for the Scald and I get the burn. So that was, that one was, oh, you burned his scissor. He stayed in twice on Pelipper. Not the best thing he could have done. But he wanted to get rid of those rocks because he does have a Thunderous. Now here I thought, he knows I have Scald, he knows I have U-Turn, I probably have Roost, and I probably have Defog. He's gonna switch into his Gorgeist, but no. I go for the Hurricane. I didn't bring Defog because I didn't really think Hazards were a big deal for my team. But he, switch, he stays in. Here he makes a nice play and goes for the knockoff. He's already burnt. Um, he's going to get rid of my damp rock. I don't think I need all eight turns of rain for Kingdra, but better than not having him. I go for the U-turn here. And I go into my Tabu Coco. 
Now, I know he still has a Thunderous, and that's a big deal. I can't go for an Electric Attack. But, I also know he has a Garchomp. Maybe he wants to... I don't know what he wants to do here. He's burnt. He can't really do too much to me. Um, so I go for the Dazzling Gleam. And he switches in his Gorgeist, which, this one here. Toxpex was Fizz Death. This one, probably Spideff. Probably a Spideff Gorgeist. But no. Not Spideff. Easy, easy, easy to hit KO with the Dazzling Gleam. So here comes a Shadow Sneak. Does alright damage. No big deal. I kill him with the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, because Scizor is burnt, I'm really not too worried about that Bullet Punch. I think Bullet Punch would do like, what, 25% after the burn? Um, here it brings in his Garchomp, which is on my... Yo, this thing is Scarfed. Without a doubt, in my mind, this thing is Scarfed. So he's probably going to go for an Earthquake, or he's going to predict, go for a Dragon Claw or something. I have switch-ins to whatever he wants to go for. After he makes the play, I can switch my moves up, go into whatever. And uh, he goes to the Earthquake, as expected. But here, he reveals that he is not Toy Scarfed, but goes for the Dragon Claw. And Pelipper eats that. I can Roost, but I go for the U-Turn because I don't know what, what what's he going to do here. I expect him to be Scarfed, expect him to switch out. He doesn't switch out. But here, I can win the game right here, right now. But because he wasn't Scarfed, I thought, he's probably, you know, he's probably Yachi Berry. And I don't want to risk a Hydro Pump. I don't want to go for... I probably could have, should have gone for a Draco. But I go for the Surf. Because I thought I had a roll. I knew he needed some speed investment. I thought I had a roll to kill. I guess not. And I lose my Kingdra. So that sucks. Because... I could have swept right there. I could have swept right there and won 5-0. And that would have been an awesome way to start off the season. But instead, I bring in... My Mammoth Swine. And I can live a Bullet Punch. So I have no reason to not go for an Ice Shard and find out that his Garchomp is Roselli Berry and not Yachi Berry. So, had I gone for the Ice Beam, I would have swept, I would have won 5-0, and King Joe would have been cool. But instead he brings in his Me and Xiao. And I'm going to go into my Pelipper. Now, had he gone for U-Turn, um, was there a way for him to win? I don't know. Maybe... He would have had to lock himself into a move, and he wasn't a setup Thunderous, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think it was locked up right then and there. So, I go into my Skullpeed because this thing is Choice Scarfed. We know it's Choice Scarfed. What is he going to do? Hydro Kick does, what, 40% to me? Maybe, maybe less. I don't know. It's resisted. And I go for a Sword Stance. This thing is burnt, and this thing can't do anything to me. It, it, it's going to do 20%. He's burnt. No, I know he's bulky, but I just wanted to see how bulky was he. Plus two sword stance. Skullpeed, what, what? How much damage can I do? I go for the earthquake. And unfortunately, uh, unstabbed, non super effective move is not enough to kill. And he goes for the roots. But like I said, it, it doesn't matter. Scissor, you're burnt. I, I'm now at plus two speed. I'm at plus two attack. All I need to go for is another sword stance, and I win. And that's what I do. Go for the sword stance. And unless he gets two crits, it's over. There's nothing he can do unless he has Focus Ash, Thunderous, or Focus Ash, Me and Chow. It's over. Skullipede. One of my favorite mods. One of my favorite designs. One of my favorite shinies. One of the strongest mods. Wins me the game 3-0. Could have won with Kingdra, but Kingdra decided to spread the love and share it with Skullipede. So he goes for Bolt Punch, does not get a crit. I don't think we had a crit in this game. Um, no, no, pretty clean game. Other than the, the, the burn, which he stayed in with Scizor and my Pelipper, but you can't really call a Skull Burn hacks. That's, you know, it's a clean game. Goes for another Bolt Punch. Doesn't crit this time either. And Skullpeed kills with his first of the season. So he has two mons left. One of which I'm pretty sure is a Choice Scarf Me and Chow. Now, it could have been like a Expert Belt with Fake Out. That would have been cool. I don't know if Me and Chow gets any other 
I think it's, it's faint or something. But he goes into his thunderous. Maybe this thing's focus ash. If this thing's focus ash, I can go for poison jab into ice shard, and then moon shout ice shard into whatever top Coco wants to go for. Um, and that would have been a win. But he's not focus ash. He's dead. So that's kill number two for Skullpeed. And here comes kill number three, because yeah, he was choice scarf moon shout. That was the easy read. And that is the game, so thanks for the game, Paul. I spent hours and hours of prep and time thinking the best way to win, and that came true. So hopefully we can do the same next week against Eric. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for that match.